We're asked to use the method of Lagrange multipliers to find the point that represents the minimum value for f of x comma y subject to the constraint x plus 4y equals 20. To use the method of Lagrange multipliers, we need to solve the system of equations shown here below involving the partial derivatives as well as the constraint in the form of g of x comma y equals zero. So we're given the function f of x comma y equals x squared plus y squared. To write the constraint in the form of g of x comma y equals zero, we need to set one side of the equation of x plus four y equals 20 to zero. Let's go ahead and subtract 20 on both sides and therefore g of x comma y equals x plus four y minus 20. And now let's write the first equation in our system given by the partial of f with respect to x equals lambda times the partial of g with respect to x. To find the partial of f with respect to x, we differentiate x squared plus y squared with respect to x, treating y as a constant. The partial of f with respect to x is 2x equals lambda times the partial of g with respect to x, which is the derivative of x plus 4y minus 20 with respect to x, treating y as a constant which gives us one plus zero minus zero, or just one. And then for the second equation, we have the partial of f with respect to y equals lambda times the partial of g with respect to y. To find the partial of f with respect to y, we differentiate x squared plus y squared with respect to y, treating x as a constant, which gives us two y. And then for the partial of g with respect to y, we differentiate x plus 4y minus 20 with respect to y, treating x as a constant, which gives us zero plus four minus zero, or just four. The third equation is the constraint in the form of g of x comma y equals zero, which is x plus 4y minus 20 equals zero. For the first equation here, we have two x equals lambda, and for the second equation, we have two y equals four lambda. Let's solve the first equation for x and the second equation for y. To solve for x, we divide both sides by two, which gives us x equals one half lambda, or lambda divided by two. And solving for y, we divide both sides by two, and we have y equals two lambda. And now we'll substitute lambda divided by two for x in the third equation, and two lambda for y, which will allow us to solve for lambda. Once we find lambda, we can come back and determine x and y. So performing the substitution into the third equation, x is equal to lambda divided by two plus four times y, where y is two lambda. Let's go ahead and add 20, which gives us equals 20. Here we have one half lambda plus eight lambda, which is eight and a half lambda, or 17 halves lambda. And that is all for lambda. We'll multiply both sides by two seventeenths. On the left, we have lambda. Lambda is equal to 40 seventeenths. Now that we have lambda, we can go back and determine x and y. X is equal to lambda divided by two if we want one half lambda. And lambda again is 40 seventeenths, giving us one half times 40 seventeenths. Simplifying before multiplying, we have x equals 20 seventeenths. Y is equal to two lambda, which gives us two times 40 seventeenths, which is equal to 80 seventeenths. So the point that represents the minimum value of the function subject to the constraint has an x-coordinate of 20 seventeenths, a y-coordinate of 80 seventeenths, and the z-coordinate, which is actually the minimum function value is equal to f of 20 seventeenths comma 80 seventeenths. So let's go ahead and find that function value. The function rule is x squared plus y squared, which gives us the square of 20 seventeenths plus the square of 80 seventeenths, which is equal to 400 seventeenths. So the z coordinate of the point is 400 seventeenths. So this question is asking us for the ordered triple, but in general we would say that the location of the minimum function value is at the ordered pair x comma y, 
and the minimum function value is the z coordinate of the function value, 417ths. Now you might be asking how we know whether this represents a minimum or a maximum. Sometimes we just assume that it is based upon the question, but we could always find the second order partial derivatives and then apply the second partials test like we did in the previous section. But in this case, let's go ahead and verify this graphically. The graph of f of x comma y is the surface, and the space curve is the intersection of the constraint in the surface, and we found this red point here. Notice how the red point is a low point, and therefore the point does represent the minimum function value under the given constraint. And therefore this does verify that our work is correct. Let's summarize what we found. The minimum value of f of x comma y is 417ths at 2017s comma 8017ths, subject to the constraint g of x comma y equals zero, or the constraint x plus four y equals 20. I hope you found this helpful.